Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's sport video. We're going to have a look at weather for 10 to 14 days for today's sport video. Day 10 will take us to be 3rd of December and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We're set to best and ECM ensembles. Maybe we're trying to come weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets into the second half of December. I shall get on that for you in a moment, just to say that first. The video sales are 6M UK weather forecast. We've also released the detailed European outlook, interest forecast, that. And uh, we've had a little look at the GMA seasonal model as well. So uh, that covers the full winter 2023-24 forecast period and is ahead of Saturday's third and final season model roundup for winter of 2023-24. So please check out all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Got a 12Z uh, model roundup coming up for you this evening as well, between 7 and 7.30. Quite unusual that we do that. But uh, sometimes when the weather gets very interesting, we do do uh, like a, a 12Z uh, model roundup, and uh, we're going to have one of those for you this evening. Now, I'm going to tell you about our merch. This is the to those Christmas merch. We have got uh, mugs. We've got uh, coasters and also... We've got uh, a Christmas decoration and on your Christmas tree. Now, Gav, on your Christmas tree. What is about that, everyone? Um, they would tweet the logo a little bit. Instead of raindrops coming out of the crowd, we've got snowflakes. And uh, they look absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, my good friend, James, here and I, Jake, for uh, designing these. If you would like that, they come as a free piece. So uh, you get the mug, you get the coaster, you get the uh, decoration. And um, uh, if you would like that, all you need to do is send £15 to Gav's web. His PayPal account. This is it just here. You can find link in the description with this video. So send £15 and uh, put a little note in Sam it. it's for merch and whatnot. Well, we shall get, uh, you know, we shall, we shall get your free piece Christmas set out to you. Uh, first 10 guaranteed delivery before Christmas. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, for, uh, for for all of the interest on merch and with the merch and that. Um, and, and I think they look absolutely fantastic. I'm going to get myself. <laughs> I'm going to get myself one, actually. I'm going to put myself on my Christmas tree. <laughs> in December. Thank you so much everybody. Unbelievable. Right, well, let's crack on with the uh, video then. So, let's do it. Right, here we go. So, I'm going to start off central in temperature. Got a lot to show you today. The CT is currently sitting at 8.6 at 2.2 degrees above. Since we're 1990 average, holding around 2 degrees, not for much longer. That will start coming down pretty much from tomorrow onwards. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, we're at Sheffield today. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Sheffield. Big change on the way. We're starting off above average still, just one more day. But cold fronts coming southwards by tomorrow. It's going to be cold of an average. And then look at this, pretty much solidly. Oh, my line went wonky. Um, <laughs> pretty much solidly. Cold of an average then, uh, from, that's better, from beginning to end, just right at the very, very end, into the second week of December, perhaps see a bit of a hint when it gets a bit milder, but essentially that's looking pretty cold, I have to say, um, at least for the next week, possibly beyond that. You notice the thick green line, that's for GFS 6 and operation, and that becomes a mild outlier, um, uh, at uh, one point around the turn of the month, you'll see why and how that happens in a moment, but uh, not particularly well supported by the ensembles. Precipitation wise, a lot of dry weather to come over the next few days. There will be some wet weather through the early part of next week. That might deliver something a little bit wintry, who knows? Um, there we go, drier again as we come towards the last stages of next week, and then through the, <coughs> excuse me, through the first week of December. Possibly signs something a little bit more unsettled. And if it's cold enough, and a lot of these ensemble members are quite cold in this period, then we might have to start thinking about snow. Let's have a look at Snow Row for Sheffield. Well, that looks quite interesting, um, doesn't it? Bear in mind, this is for Sheffield, so it's at high elevation. Maybe want to do quite well if there's any sort of stir around. So not much happening un uh, until like the middle of next week. But beyond that, um, the snow spikes are increasing. You'll notice around here which is like the 7th to the 9th of December. Some really large snow spikes, one going off the scale. Sheffield 
would be <laughs> would be absolutely buried if that came off. Obviously, it's unlikely to verify because it's right at the very end of the GFS ensemble. But it definitely looks like, for Sheffield anyway, these snow spikes are increasing there. Go down to London. We have got a bit of an increase for London as well. Nowhere near as dramatic as what we saw for Sheffield. But nevertheless, there are um, a few uh, snow spikes there between around the third, uh, between around the first and the third of December. In particular, so possibly a little bit of white stuff could be on the way um, around the beginning of December. We'll see. Temperature anomaly is from the 23rd of November to the 1st of September, coming out below average. A cold average week to come. Most parts of Europe are including that northern Europe, especially Norway, looking very, very cold. Indeed, just Spain and Portugal really standing out being milder than average and possibly down towards Greece and Turkey as well. Precipitation anomalies from the 23rd November to 1st of December. Drier than average, especially for northern and western regions. You'll notice towards the east coast, though, looking a little bit more unsettled. That could be picking up on uh, maybe some uh, showers and <laughs> what not coming in on easterly winds. Right, well, the latest green print map from EarthNoldSchool.net shows where the cold front currently is. As of 1 p.m. in the afternoon on Thursday, cold front is uh, just here. So ahead of that, we're still bringing in those mild westerly winds. Behind it, we're changing the air mass and bringing in, at the moment, a cooler northwesterly. That will become a colder northerly bow by tonight and tomorrow. OK, let's start going through the chart data. And this is what I know a lot of you are waiting for. So starting with the UK Met Euro run for midnight on Sunday. A rich of high pressure through the country being cold air. Harsh overnight frost to come this weekend. Then a trough of low pressure moves in late Sunday into Burnley, bringing outbreaks of rain in with it. That low then gets out of the way into France and low countries by Tuesday. High pressure building over Scandinavia, wind starting to pull into an easterly direction. Then for the middle part of next week, we look quite cold, with low pressure starting to uh, develop to our southwest. That becomes a major area of low pressure. UK map really whips that up into a major area of low pressure by midnight next Thursday. Not sure about that, but uh, that means severe gales and heavy rain. You'll notice an increasingly blocked look to the north of that area of low pressure from Greenland over towards Swaward. Um, Right, so that's that one done. Upper air temperature, by the way, uh, not overly mild, really, with that uh, area of low pressure, despite it coming up the Atlantic, actually, there's relatively cold air quite close to us, but probably not mild enough for most of the precipitation with that to be rain. Right, Icon, again, under that ridge of high pressure on Sunday, bring a uh, dry and cold weekend and then low pressure in off the Atlantic through the open next week bring showery outbreaks of rain low pressure sinks away to the south by Tuesday high pressure takes over across Scandinavia winds pull into an east for a northeast direction becoming colder therefore through the early to middle part of next week under a ridge of high pressure again through the middle part of next week quite cold with that ridge and then lower pressure starting to try and move up from the southwest so this will be day Thursday looking pretty cold across most parts of the country. Very cold air across northern Europe. That is something of note. We probably won't tap into that uh, at the moment, initially, uh, because it is only the 30th of November. But for the 30th of November, that is very, very cold across much of northern and also East Europe with both upper air temperatures. And, you know, that's the way winter's going to be panning out. But <laughs> watch out by January. Who knows how cold those upper air temperatures could be by then. Um, but anyway, back to this. We're quite cold here on Thursday with Icon, and uh, we're watching this area of low pressure developing to the southwest as it starts trying to move up into that cold air. Right, the GFS midnight run, looking like that for midnight on Sunday. Again, under rich high pressure, a dry and frosty spell of weather. Then low pressure comes in through Sunday. We'll bring cloud and outbreaks of rain. Quite a cold, damp sort of day on Sunday. That low pressure clears away into France, which goes through into Tuesday. Winds again pulling into that easterly. Quite a strong easterly bear as well, so we'll feel very cold on Tuesday. Better risk of high pressure builds again over country on Wednesday. It'll be quite cold air overnight, frost continuing. Second half of next week, this area of low pressure and start trying to move up from the south and from the southwest. That's moving into cold air. So you see minus five Celsius ice is quite well established. 
across most parts of the country. It's a mild sector down to the south. So this area of low pressure then sits across northern parts of France. We bring an easterly wind ahead of it. Again, upper air temperature can generally cold from Wales and the Midlands northwards. Um, and then the low pressure just sort of sits around all parts of France actually through the first weekend of December. We keep wind in from that cold east or north east direction. Upper air temperatures show that the cold air actually starts returning southwards again. Almost a bit marginal for snow, but probably some snow prospects with that. And uh, by the 5th of December, Tuesday the 5th, we're into uh, a, a straightforward sort of northerly type prayer with a blocking high centred over Greenland. Upper air temperatures again looking cold. And that cold weather stays with us to the end of the first week of December before low pressure start being milder, wetter and windier weather back in right at the end of the GFS run. Guess us to the 9th of December is a long way off. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from spreadshow.com. There's the cold front coming southwards, introducing wintry showers and colder air into the north through to the weekend. There'll be a lot of dry weather, showers peppery in the coast, but most places have a good dry weekend by, or dry Saturday to Sunday. But through Sunday afternoon, outbreaks of rain extending eastwards across the country. Well, that could be quite heavy, especially for the northern areas. And that wet weather eventually sinking through central and eastern parts of the country. Monday also looking quite wet with showers and or long spells rain and quite a cold easy wind getting up as well as that low pressure clears southwards. Possibly that some of that so rain could turn a little bit sleety and make snow on the back edge of it as that east wind picks up as well. Middle part of next week, we're under high pressure, so a lot of dry weather, but a return of overnight frost. And then the second half of next week, that low pressure is coming up from the south, from southwest into that cold air. So you'll notice the snow risk is increasing here as we go into the second half of next week. Uh, snow event single there for Wales and the Midlands. On Friday the 1st, what a, what a memorable start to winter 2023-24 that would be. So heavy snow through Wales and Midlands, central parts of England as well at the end of next week. Take this with a pinch of salt, please, everybody. Um, eventually the snow sort of pushes further north as we turn back towards rain down in the south. Um, and then sort of go into those uh, northern winters, go further on through the first week of December. So most of the snow then is peppering the coast before wet weather comes in from anti of snow or leading edge with that, but then mild around turns it back to rain. Right, that's the midnight run done. This is how the Chef S6 area is looking. Again, we bring this area of low pressure in off the Atlantic on Sunday, about to take outbreaks of rain in with it. Below pressure then clears away into France and Italy from Monday to Tuesday. We open the door to those cold east to north easterly winds. We're under a calm on Wednesday, quite cold with that. Then the second half next week brings this lower from the southwest. Now, a bigger warm sector with that area of low pressure on the sink set. So, more of England Wales going into rain, and the snow risk is probably up across the northern parts of England. However, it's not that long for the low pressure pushes back south again, the blocking area of high pressure. Uh, sink south as well, and we get wind back into an east north east easterly around day 10 11, and the cold air floods southwards again. Uh, then very blocked, looking very blocked and cold, really, as we go through the first week of December. We're on way out now, of course, but this big blocking air of high pressure from Iceland to Scandinavia keeps wind in from that easterly direction. Upper air temperatures again are looking cold across most parts of the country. That's how we end with Jeff at six heads, still cold under high pressure, and winds generally still coming in from an easterly direction. This is a precipitation forecast based on that Jeff at six head run. Uh, and again, we see a lot of dry weather through the earlier part of the weekend. There will be night frost into Sunday. Though outbreaks of rain gradually moving in across the country. That turns very heavy across many parts of the country Sunday into Monday. A little bit of snow on the leading edge of that as well across northern parts of England. Monday, quite a cold, wet day in the south and east. That rain gets out of the way by Tuesday. We're bringing in those east to north easterly uh, winds and high pressure in the middle part of next week, mainly dry with that, before low pressure starts pushing in from the southwest through the last stage of next week. Because there's a bigger warm sector, much more in, in the way of rain rather than snow with that. But there is a little bit of snow appearing on the leading edge with that area of low pressure eventually. 
but uh, suggests southwards and the precipitation starts turning more towards snow later on into the first week of uh, December and then we're into mostly dry weather but also cold and there will be a risk of some wintry weather there as well. Uh, all very interesting. Remember, this is very early on in the season. We're talking about all these prospects, you know, hard frost, snow, Scandinavian heights, easterly winds, when we're still in November. Um, <laughs> it's all quite unusual, let's put it that way. If you enjoy the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's so see what you think about this, all of our videos. Don't forget to share friends about Gareth Weathers. Uh, uh, ask them to subscribe as well. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Please put around 50 subscribers, that's all, to get to 17.3k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends about it, subscribe, it would be amazing. And we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, with a ridge of high pressure through the country on Sunday. Mostly dry and cold to start the day. Bring low pressure means outbreaks of rain. In profit and take a cold and wet start to next week. Be minus five cells, ice burn, flooding southwards and westwards across the country from the east to the early part of next week. And then in second half of next week, where we're looking cold there on Thursday with a minus five cells, ice burn through the country for low pressure drives pushing up from the south comes up against that block of cold air and stools. So the upper air temperature show mild air gets into the south, but anywhere from where the Midlands northwards remains in the cold air. Remember with this, where it's gonna snow and where it's gonna rain. So this line just here in this pattern is very, very, very important. To the south of that in the yellow colours, that's upper air temperatures above freezing, it will only rain. If it's cold enough on the surface, that might be freezing rain, but it will only rain in this yellow area. In this green area just here, it can snow. That's where the upper air temperatures are between minus five and freezing. Um, it can snow in that green area, depending on a, other parameters, such as the dew point. If the dew point is below freezing, at or below freezing, and, and the upper air temperature is between freezing minus 5, then it will often snow. And then to the north of that, when you're within a minus 5 cell size firm, then it's much easier to get snow. But sometimes in these situations, the heaviest snowfalls can actually occur in that area just there between uh, minus 5 and 0 degrees. Uh, anyway, so uh, below pressure continues to sit to south up to day 10. A beautiful blocking area of high pressure around Green and Isom with the GEM. Check that out. That is a classic sort of blocking feature there around Green and Isom. Low pressure south and winds still maintain from that cold easterly direction. Upper air temperatures again looking pretty cold away from the south southeast where we have got a milder sector going on. Uh, and then we've got the ECM at WF rounding it all off again we're under that ridge of high pressure on uh, on Saturday night Sunday, so it will be a very cold night Saturday night Sunday when low pressure comes in off the Atlantic bringing outbreaks of rain with it that low clears out of way when to choose we open the floodgates to those east and north east winds bring cold air in from the east look how cold it is across much of northern Europe when she plunged into freezer there then into the uh, middle of next week we're under a ridge of high pressure so turning drier but a return of night frost with upper air temperatures cold and then low pressure start trying to move in from the south and from the southwest through the end of next week and into the first weekend of December. Again, we've got a mild sector with that in the south, cold air up to the north. There could be fun and games. That's day 10. Low pressure moving across northern France and southern England. Winds back in from the east sea direction with the cold air flooding back south. Once again, my 10 cells ice cream is actually starting to move our way from off the North Sea. This is a precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from Tometio.com. So a lot of dry weather over the next few days and the emphasis will be towards those overnight frosts. By the end of Sunday, outbreaks of rain moving in from off the Atlantic. ECM is turning a little bit of back to snow on the northern edge by Monday. So um, like some parts of northern England and into the north Midlands, ECM turns a little bit of that to, uh, so I don't think it amount to too much, but it could be of note. And then we open doors to those east winds, so wintry showers coming onto the eastern coast. A lot of dry weather under a ridge of high pressure through Mill Park next week, but with overnight frost, of course. And then the second half of next week, low pressure tries to come up from the southwest, winds raining to south, possibly some snow through parts of Wales and the Midlands. Don't take that area to literally. Um, 
So, yeah, all looking very interesting there through the last stages of next week. Possibility of a stir of them. Um, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from the ECM.ant website. Still, we can't get these charts. Uh, Custer scenarios should be Icelandic Met Office, unfortunately. But uh, these are how they're looking from ECM. This gets us to the 3rd of December. 28 members of the ECM ensembles with a tropical low pressure across the northwest Europe in combination with a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland. That could be bringing cold east to northeasterly winds, especially so in northern regions. And then we have got 23, again, blocking area of high pressure in the North Atlantic up towards Greenland. Low pressure a bit further south was along the jet stream. So that's more of an easterly influence. So out of the two, there is only two options at day 10, out of the two, this is the colder uh, scenario just here. Uh, but this one could be quite cold and co quite cold as well due to that blocking of high pressure over Greenland. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 8th of December. So, 14 members of the ECM are still on steel. We're blocking in the North Atlantic towards Greenland, setting a ridge down into the UK. That would be mostly dry, cold and frosty, I would have thought. We have got 12... Uh, just here with high pressure between Iceland and Scandinavia. Winds coming in from the east again with those 12. We have got another 12 um, with a ridge in the Atlantic. Low pressure to our south and the east. Winds coming in potentially from quite a cold north northeast direction. So all three of those options looking quite cold, I think, in two weeks out. Uh, we've got seven with high pressure over top of country. That will probably deliver overnight frost and be quite chilly. And then we've got a minority option of six, turning things milder, introducing low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So at both day 10 and at day 14, to be honest, things are looking quite cold there with most of those uh, cluster scenarios. CFSB2, finally, and then we don't have been an epic video. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. CFSB2, finally, if it's a 500 millibar high tide break down to week period. It's the first week period. Takes from the 23rd, 29th of November. The next week, we'll have high pressure over to the west of the country. With that, we're bringing quite a chilly north or northeast wind. Watch out for some significant overnight frost during the weekend. Week two. It's the 30th of November, 6th and 7th. Again, high pressure out to our northwest, uh, bringing the wind into that area of high pressure for north northeast. That should deliver more overnight frost. Week 3 is going to be the uh, 7th to the 13th of December. Still with high pressure ridging through the Atlantic. So again, we could well be bringing the wind from a northerly direction uh, there. And then finally, week 4 reverts us to a milder pattern. Uh, it's the 14th to the 20th of December. High pressure then collapses uh, southwards. Low pressure in the North Atlantic turns a wind into the southwest. So that becomes uh, milder. But of course, may start bringing wet weather in from off the Atlantic. The temperature anomaly will be best for week one, which is 23rd, 29th of November, is below average at England. Wales. Look how cold it is across most parts of Europe, by the way. Week two. Temperature anomalies, which will be the third year of November, September, cold of an average again, particularly so. Think Wales really, really cold across many parts of Europe as well. Temperature anomalies are going to four degrees or more um, below average in those uh, deep blue colours. Uh, week three is going to be the seventh and thirteenth of December. Temperature just easing back a little bit, easing back up a little bit, but most parts of Europe still looking very, very cold there. And then it's not till we get to week four, which is the 14th, 20th of December, running up towards Christmas, typically. But we find the CFS starting to go a little bit milder. But I wouldn't, you know, take that too seriously. It's a long way off in this sort of pattern. So we don't. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about girls, whether it's get them to subscribe to me. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Uh, epic, 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 epic. Epic video. Could we be doing Snow Watch next week? I wonder. We'll see. Uh, right, okay, we're going to be back later on with 12Z Roundup. So that will be much 
shorter than this video, but we will specifically just look at the chart data from the 12 day, and hopefully we'll be able to keep it to around 10 minutes. That will be coming up between 7 and 7.30, so we'll see how the cold conditions um, are looking, you know, how, how things are progressing on the 12th day. Just coming up tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. There will be Jeremy Friday, there's going to be a 10 to 14 day. I've got to do the East Chef, do a 42 day forecast tomorrow as well. And we're live at half 10 with the pub run. Lots and lots to look forward to. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.